Well, it's another cold one today. Better get at it.
interesting how our bodies adapt so quickly. So strange. They're built to adapt. You know, like if I spend a lot of time in the sun, my skin turns darker as to protect me from the sun's rays. You know, if I spend too much time out of the sun, like in wintertime with not enough sunlight, my, my body can't get enough vitamin D. So what it does is it lightens my skin so that it can soak in more vitamin D from the sun, from what little sun we do have, right? The body's constantly adapting to what whatever climate and whatever like, weather you're in. Sort of like how we all wear shoes when we go outside for the most part, right? So our feet aren't used to walking on gravel. However, when my dad was a kid, and when I was a kid too, they used to run on gravel on sharp rocks and the feet just get calloused. They get used to it, right? So if you walk barefoot everywhere you go, I mean, if that was a thing, people look at you funny in our country if you do that, but if you, if you walk barefoot everywhere, your feet will just get used to it and eventually you won't even notice it. Strange machines these bodies are, right? Strange. Amazing creations. And that's not even going into things like your immune system, right? Like since we're all dealing with this pandemic right now and all this fire stuff going around. Take the next right onto Century The reason people were so worried about it was that nobody's bodies had ever encountered it before, right? Other viruses and other sicknesses our bodies have they've dealt with before, right? So it learns what it is and next time it encounters that same virus, it knows how to fight it off. I know all of us know this already, but I like to point out, some of us don't, you ever stop to think how amazing the human body is? There is no machine like the human body. The only flaw is that it dies. It's the only flaw that we get old and die. But can you imagine if we found a way to stop, slow down, or even reverse the aging process? To the point where, you know, if you get, if you get like something in the, hit in the head, you could still die, but you, you wouldn't age past a certain point anymore, right? Do you think we have that technology already? And if we do, do you think they would ever share it with us peasants? No way, we have an overpopulation problem. There's no way they're going to share that with us. But yeah, if we could just stop the aging process, we would practically be the perfect biological machine. These are thoughts that go through my head while I'm delivering your stuff. Am I the only one? I'm the only one, I know. But hey, that's a look into my brain on a Wednesday. Just a typical Wednesday afternoon. Deep thoughts with Sir Josh. Well. Oh, we're ready for the highway now. Look out! He's got his aviators on. And got my Timmy's. I'm very excited, as you can tell. But my excitement is a little bit dulled because of the ridiculous lids. I will keep speaking out against the treachery of Tim Horton's new lids until they change them back. It will be an ongoing protest. Useless lids. Just walk into the truck, coffee gets all over me. Of course, now it's rush hour too. I shouldn't have complained. So sorry. Sorry. You see? Karma. I whine too much. And then everybody gets in my way. And I need to go this way. I actually need to go that way. Actually that way, but first I need to go this way and then that way. So then I can go that way. There is one Timmy's on Route 90 and I shall not name it so that they don't wreck it for us. Okay? One Timmy's that still has some truck parking in front of the store. Now it's a new Tim's. A new Tim's. So uh, the no parking signs obviously haven't gone up yet because usually they'll build the Tim Hortons and then they'll start realizing that the truckers are parking out front, out of the way, not in the lot, but you know, out front. And then they'll be like, 
oh, we can't let those truckers park anywhere near our store and bring down our property values, you know? It's dirty truckers, gotta keep them away. So they put up no parking signs, usually a couple of months after they build the tents. Conveniently, in the only spots where trucks can park. For some reason, Tim Hortons has something against truckers. In 10 years of daily blogging and constantly going on about Tim's, they have never once acknowledged me. I've even led campaigns on Twitter to get their attention, just to get a simple hello. I think once we got whoever handles their Twitter account in the US, Tim Hortons US responded and said hi. I'll wait for this car. That was it. Tim Hortons Canada has never even acknowledged my existence. And I'm not saying that they have to, I'm just saying I give them a lot of free advertising. It'd be nice just to get a little. What's up? How's it going there, bud? You know? You don't need to give me any free coffee or anything. I'm not asking for free stuff. <laughs> it's been 10 years. Why don't you like me, Timmy? Like, what oh, was it, like two years ago or five years ago? We went on Twitter and we tried to get their attention, right? They would not respond. We sent them thousands of tweets. All good stuff. Thousands of tweets, not one response. Oh wait, sorry. Tim Hortons US got, we got one response. And it was just a lame little like, hi, or hi there. And that was it. So, I have a love-hate relationship with Tim's. Love their coffee. I hate the service at most Tim Hortons. I'm not gonna lie. The one I go to here, they take, they literally take 10 minutes just to acknowledge your presence. And then the way they acknowledge your presence is they just yell to someone else on the other side of the store. Hey, someone's at the tail. And then no one comes. And you just gotta sit there and, terrible service, but coffee, right? What can I do? I'm in this terrible loop. I keep buying it, and then I keep saying I shouldn't have bought it, and then I buy it again, and I say, oh, it's bad service, but then I go back and buy it again. I'm in a crazy loop. Oh, what can you do when you live in a shoe? Off we go. We gotta bring people some of the stuff today yet.
So did you notice? Did you notice I didn't use the microphone today? I definitely noticed that there is a big difference. I could hardly hear myself today compared to yesterday. Even though the microphone is not perfect, it still picks up a lot of the background noise. Uh, it is better. I might just have to mount it closer to me, maybe. I, I saw a lot of your comments requesting or suggesting that I use the wireless mic. I don't want to necessarily do that either because that cancels out pretty much all of the sound around me except my voice. I don't really... I'm not really going for that audio... But we'll see what happens. I'll try the mic again tomorrow and see how it works. But anyway, uh, that's the day. You'll notice I uh, it was more of a, a musical. There's more music on it than usual today because almost all the clips, I couldn't even hear myself talking. So I just cut them out altogether and uh, made the vlog a little bit shorter. But uh, it did still tell the story of my day uh, running around here. Tomorrow's another day, though. That's the thing. There's, there's always another one tomorrow. We're going to try again. We're going to see if we can make it better tomorrow. Hope you guys do tune in. Uh, I was going to show you the weasel, but apparently he bailed on me. Diesel! Diesel! I got tired of waiting. I was having problems with my camera SD card, too. I was sitting here for like 10 minutes trying to figure it out. It wouldn't let me format it. And Diesel was right here. He was going to be here for the ending clip, but then he... Uh, you got tired of waiting. These are my days though, you know, long days at work and then you come home and quickly put the video together. Maybe watch an episode or two of TV and then it's off to bed and we do it all again tomorrow. So it's a busy week, but on the weekend, we should have more time. I have a few ideas for uh, some vlog content that I'm gonna need some extra time for, maybe on the next long weekend. I don't know, I'm, I'm, remember, uh, Last year we were going to start a channel for the dogs, or we are going to start making a vlog just for the dogs. Maybe we didn't mention that. Did we mention that on camera? What? That we were going to make like a, a dog vlog? No. We still have all the footage. Maybe I'll put that together. See what you guys think of it, and if you guys like that kind of stuff, maybe we'll do more of that too. I don't know. Maybe we'll make their whole own like the, like their whole own channel. Who knows? But uh, I'm tired. I'm babbling. I'm probably not making sense. We'll see you tomorrow morning when I'm a little bit more rested.